Good evening, professional colleagues. Um, this evening, we'll be taking a brief tutorial on Envy software. We're going to do um, one or two things. Um, in this brief tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to stack our images and how to load them. And then in the next tutorial, we'll see how we can do one or two radiometric corrections on it. First of all, we have to navigate to our folder. Let's be sure where we saved our work. Right now, I have my folder here in my desktop named um, Dembele. We open it to be sure. So I have 2016 here, and then I have my images here. So this is the folder in which I will be working with. So here, I'm going to copy this because it's going to be very, very important when I start with it. So right now, I'm going to minimize this. <coughs> And then I start my software. I'm going to start the Envy Classic 32 bit. If you have a 64 bit, you can actually use that too. But make sure it's Envy Classic. And then wait for it to load. Now, the first thing, the first step to do here is to click on File. We have so many options here, but I'm going to choose Open Image File. Now we have vector files, we have remote files, but we'll be opening image files because the extension of the file we have is a TIF image extension. So right here, I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to paste, I'm going to paste this and then I click on go and then here comes my images. I can decide to shift this up a little bit so that I can see all the images I have here. So I have band 1, band 2, band 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and BQA. So I'm going to select all the bands except this folder. I'm going to remove band 6, removing this, 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 and this. So I have band 1 to band 11 with the exception of band 6 which is a thermal infrared band. So I'm going to click on open. Now it loads. Now these are the available band lists. From this you can see the band from band 1 to band 9 or 11 or so. so here it is here, 9875. Now I think we can just count how many we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think it's complete. So now we are not just going to go ahead and load because we are going to do stacking first. And how do we do stack? Now stacking, we are going to go to basic tools and we we'll select layer stacking now layer stacking we are going to click on import file import your file i have all the files here we are going to select all you select all the files and click on ok now coming down to this place you see you have utm here you have your data which is wgs84 and then you have your zone which is zone 30 now if it's not right feel free to change it now you come back to this place you have what we call recorder files now recorder file simply means trying to rearrange your files accordingly mm -hmm. trying to rearrange your files accordingly so with that with that all you need to do is you scroll up and down you can pick this now for example you pick band 10 you take it up and drop it where you have one so this is band one i pick this and take it up there so but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just going to leave it here so i leave it from where i took it from so i have one up to band nine it really doesn't matter changing 
the sequence so you just click on ok or I click on cancel because I didn't change anything there so now what do I do from here I'm going to choose an output file name now the first thing is then I'm trying to stack and then remember you are going to navigate back to your working folder then you click on go and then here you call this um, stack tessini and then I click on open now I've added an output file name as stack tessini so what do I do next I click on ok and then I'm going to wait for you to stack all the bands I've added so let's see how that goes meanwhile as soon as this is done good now we have stack tessini up here I think you can see this this is stack tessini up here that's the stacking we just did now we are actually going to discard this we are no more needing this map info from here downward we are no more needing it because we have stacked all the informations we have now we are going to check if the bands are complete we have band 9 band 8 band 7 band 5 band 4 band 3 band 2 band 11 band 10 band 1 now don't forget this information is for landsat oli so with this you have to remember the bands you would like to use for this purpose we are going to use band 5 4 and 3 then you come over here you choose rgb color now for the red you choose 5 band 5 for the green you choose band 4 and for the blue you choose band 3 and then you load rgb when you do that you have this now you can use this cursor and bring it down here to see to view what you have here you can actually view different um, things on the image here so now from here the next step is vector now vector simply means we are going to import the shape file that is to say you have a larger image that is a scene and actually the scene is so large and then your study area is not covering the whole scene so you need to cover out your, your study area so what do you do you import your vector file now you click on vector you click on open vector file now here is where I have my vector file as the scene I click on it now I've, I have several files here and EVF file is an extension for MV so I come over here and select shape file when you do this this is my shape file I select this and then it loads the parameters for me now we are going to look at this closely my layer name here is what commune at this and then I'm going to change this I choose this I'm going to go back one step and then here I'm going to select Tessy Vector I'm going to change the name rather to Tessy Vector please feel free to use whatever name you would like to use for this this is just for the purpose of this tutorial so you select open <coughs> then from here remember you started with UTM and now it's changing it to geographical location make sure the datum is correct which is WGS 84 now from here you click on OK when you select OK now there is something I want to bring your attention to in this place you can see there is nothing showing look at this properly you will see there is nothing that is showing here but as soon as I load the vector file then you will see the difference there up here you have an option but you really will not want to touch anything here so you leave everything as default then you select this and then you click on load selected when you click on load selected it shows you the display window now where are you loading the vector file to it's going to be on display one and this is our display one here 
you have this number here which shows it's display one so you select display one and click on ok when you click on ok you notice there's something here that popped up it's a little line or something like a vector here actually that shows this shows your study area so i'm going to do something here i'm going to try and color it change the color and see i'm going to choose black let me change this and choose black you can either click any of the two now this is black when i choose black i click on apply so you can see it changes to black you can decide to change the color here too you click on apply the color changes so i click here again i click on apply the color changes i hope you are seeing this this is what i'm talking about let me bring this um, let me bring this down here so that you can actually see it on this very clearly now you can see this line here we're going to change this to black or to brown let me change this to black and click on apply you can see it's changing now i'm going to change this to black i'm going to change this to black let's see okay this is different color uh, but it's almost the same thing so i need something that is conspicuous um i need a black 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 um let me see this okay i think this is a little bit manageable so oh um, okay let's see this okay good now you can see from here now we have this color yellow showing the boundaries for your study area so all you need to do now is we'll go back to we'll now go back to basic tools let's see how we can actually bring out that is let's see how we can bring out to max your image or your shape file with your image out from that place then you come to masking and then you select build mask so here we're going to select display one and we're going to click on ok now coming down to this place you can see you have samples and you have lines you're going to leave this as default now the next thing you're going to do you select options you select options and you select import evfs now we're importing evfs we have this you select this and you click on ok and then you come down here and say you change the name here as mask to see no then you select open and then here you click on apply you're gonna see some changes here now we have something here up here as what max the scene or that's just a new band we just created now we're going to go back to basic tools click on basic tools and come back to apply mask so clicking on apply max you click on apply mask now you have all the bands you have started with and right now we are going to select a stack because that was the first thing we are going to use we started with stacking all the images so we are going to use stack as our input file and then remember coming down to your special subset our special subset here you have virtually everything here so all you need to do is choose this that's we are changing this to evi that's mv format so we are going to select this then you select this when you select this you click on ok now you can see the information here has changed so you have utm zone 30 not and then every other information you need to know about that image is actually here so what you now need to do you come back here over here and then you click on ok now that's that then the next one you have is your spectral subset is 10 over 10 bands remember we uploaded 10 bands so the 10 bands still remains now you select your max band now don't forget we created a max band which is max the sino so you select this 
you select max band and then you click on ok and then here we have our final ok then when you do that you come here and then you choose and then you are going to rename this as apply apply mask the scene and then you click on open you select this and click on open when you open this you click on ok and then it runs as soon as it's done it gives you what you have just maxed and now what do you do you load your rgb color remember your band that you're going to use you have your band 5 you have your band 4 and you have your band 3 all you need to do is now load rgb when you do that you see what it has given you now before then you are supposed i am supposed to actually change the display picture so that you can actually see the difference of what is there but not to worry i can just select this new display and then i load the previous image that is there before which is the stack so i can just choose this i choose stack i select um band um, five band five band four and band three so i load this on the second image so with this you get to see what was there before this was what was there at the beginning and this is what you have right now when you look at this image here you find out that this is a complete scene and then after stacking and after masking all you have right over here you can see this is just the shape file and then now this is how to do your stacking and this is how to cut out your image using your shape file thank you very much i'm gonna be ending this tutorial for now we'll be coming up with something different next time thank you bye for now my name is Tassini, the technical director afrigist oau elefe so we'll meet again thank you bye bye